Well, hello there, and welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while uh, since I've made my last video, but here it is. I'm back, uh, back in GTA 5, ready to uh, give you another cheat. So today, what we're going to be looking at, as keeping with my normal uh, pattern of doing things, we're going to be using Cheat Engine, because that's pretty much the only way I know how to cheat this game. And it's the most straightforward way of doing it, really, most of the time. So this is going to be part of my three-part series on a on cheating uh, GTA 5 races. The first one is going to be on how to uh, cheat your way through a GTA 5 race within one lap, even if it's a 25-lap race. This should work on multiplayer, but you do have to be the host of the race. So let's get straight into it. Let's go to jobs. We go to play. Rockstar. I'm, I'm going to use recently played. Uh, what you want to be doing is you want to go into stunt races and find any of these hot ring circuits. I think, if I remember rightly, the yeah the Sandy Shores one is nice and short. So this is a good one to use for cheating. So you're going to need to open up your cheat engine whilst that's loading in, and you want to get into a solo session for this. You don't want to you don't want to be in a in a in a game with other people when you're doing this one, uh, ideally, because this is going to take a little bit of time to set up. Once it's up and running, it's repeat nice and easily repeatable. So I'm going to set it to 25 laps, so I've got enough time to work with it. I'm going to switch off matchmaking, start the race. Cool, so we're going to get the car going. We're going to cross the start line, so we're into lap one. Here you go. Lap one, brilliant. We'll just stop there. We're going to tab out to cheat engine. We're going to target GTA 5. And what we're going to do is we're going to scan for one. This is going to turn, turn up a large, large number of results, so you may have to wait a little while for it to load through. So we're scanning through for one. Cool, so I found 5 million results. Brilliant. So drive on. I'm just going to grab my controller, actually, make this easier. So I'm going to do a quick lap. I'll probably speed up this bit of the video. Okay, so we're on to lap two. Now what we're going to go back into G Engine is do next two. Or two, next, rather. Cool. So we've got that. And then we're going to complete another lap once that scan's finished. I mean, you could actually continue lap whilst it's scanning, but I find that what if you're trying to play the game whilst it's scanning, it tends to slow down horrendously. Anyway, lap three, press three. Okay, so you see we're getting down to a smaller number now. What I'm going to go for four now. 15 addresses. They all correspond to the same sort of region, I think. I might do one more lap just to be sure. Yeah, I'm going to do one more lap just to make sure that I've got all of the, uh, all of it filtered down as much as possible. So you don't technically, you probably don't technically need to do like keep filtering it down like this. But the thing is, if you pick up incorrect values, then there's a risk that you actually bug out the game. So let's just check. So is there any here that? Yeah, see, there's a bunch here that should be should be four but aren't. That's the thing. That's why it's important to make sure you do filter them down properly. So you could actually be re rechecking them as you're going round the lap. So now that should be five. Let's just double check. Okay, yeah, so that's five. So I'm I'm pretty confident in this set of values now. So I'm going to take these. Those are my lap five. So I'm going to change them to 25, and then I should be able to go around and finish the race now. There we go. Lap completed. Finished first. 25 lap race in six minutes. Get a reasonable watch of money and reasonable watch of RP. But that's only because of how long it took. Had I completed that in one lap, I would have got less. But we'll get to that later. So at this point, I decided to try creating a multiplayer game to demonstrate that it worked with other people in the lobby, but nobody was joining, so I just decided to show it solo instead. So just to demonstrate that this works from the start. Oh, lap five. Right, I forgot this is a five lap race. Lol. There we go. So this should work. So I can literally go around on my own and uh, complete race after race. Because I'm racing on my own, I don't think this counts towards the counter for 
completed races to unlock vehicle parts although I will double check on that in just a second so I was trying to get into a host an online game so that I could demonstrate that this works with uh, other other people in the lobby as well so you can actually win races against other people but unfortunately I couldn't get anyone to join the game for some reason and it's a problem I find commonly with GTA 5 now actually that um, nobody joins games like nobody's joining these online matches I, I set up a race nobody joins I set up occasionally last man no not last man standing what's it called survival I find sometimes people join survival but races it seems to be really hard to host them you can join them but you can't host them for some reason maybe it's because everyone's hosting their own game because they like to dictate which which um, which game you're doing who knows or which track you're doing rather the world record for this track is 12 seconds someone's cheating <laughs> okay so works fine so let's go to the engine and check so we need 41 more runs to unlock this okay cool let's get out of here and we'll go join do a quick win quick winner race 41 it was, 41, 41, get that number stuck in my head. First. Cool, so we're back in. Hey, we're nice and close to the garage, that's handy. Let's find out. So we were on 41 before, and now we are on do, 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 do. engine 41. So you can't get wins by doing that. So as I say, I'm going to go through um, after this, I'm going to produce two more videos in theory, um, detailing a couple more exploits, cheats rather, that you can use. Um, but this is just the first one. So this is a way to quickly complete races, so you can, you can go through and complete race that way if you want to. If you're really feeling crazy you could host an online game and use it on that. I'm not, I'm, I'm sort of reticent to do that because I don't want to get banned and you're very likely to, if you use this to uh, to just win an online game instantly you're very likely to get banned. But again you'd only be able to do it if you're hosting anyway which means you're going to have to host the game and then get people to join which is very difficult to do. So there you go. Anyway thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.